Okay, today we're going to do solar, as promised. We got a 50 watt solar panel right there. We got our 12 volt controller unit. Now it comes with the two light bulbs, plugs for them, and the connector cables so you can connect it to the battery. I'm just going to go through how we uh, do all that real quick, show you how simple it is to be prepared during a storm or an emergency. So with your controller unit, this is going to connect to your battery and your solar panel. There's the caps right here. It's pretty easy. Um, what I basically did was just use speaker wire. I did a 12 gauge and just did some clamps on there, just like that. And uh, those will go really easily on here. So for a solar panel, obviously red goes to red. Now this controller unit comes with the light bulbs. Which is nice. And then what you have in the front where that plugs in. So there we go. So our panel's connected. We got negative and positive there. You're gonna have a cigarette lighter plug, your 12 volt. You're also gonna have a USB plug. Now with this, you can get a 75 watt inverter, which I'd recommend 75 watts. Anything higher than that, you're gonna be draining way too much power off of it. So now that the solar panel's connected, we can connect our battery. Have your red and black, obviously. Same thing on the back. Always do your positive first, because you don't have any energy running through. It's not grounded. Okay, there we are. Go ahead and do our positive first again. And we'll flip the switch on and we have power. We can go ahead and plug in light bulbs, whatever else you might need during an emergency. I'll uh, go through my setup on the next video, uh, a couple different accessories I have and review them for you. That's it though for the solar setup. Pretty easy and simple. Well and obviously make sure your uh, solar panel right over there is in direct sunlight has to be really good sun. You can't just put it up in a window, get on a roof if you can, or lay it in the yard, but it's got to be in really good sunlight.